हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्ट यू बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मॅनेजमेंट स्ट्रॅटजीज फॉर थिन एंडोमेट्रियम इन आय यू आय अँड आय व्ही एफ नाव वेन एव वी आर डुईंग आय यू आय ऑर आय व्ही एफ देर आर टू इम्पॉर्टंट कॉम्पोनंट्स विच वी डील विथ फर्स्ट इज द एग्ज विच आर ट्रॅक्ट इन द ओव्हरीज and second is the endometrium which is the lining on which the baby is going to stay in the mother's womb for all 9 months now the sonography tracks the follicle as well as the endometrium and in certain patients around 5 to 6% of the iui as well as ivf patients it has been noted that the eggs grow fine but the endometrium lags behind and results in a condition which is called as thin endometrium whenever the thickness of the endometrium at ovulation is less than 5 and 1/2 mm it is termed as thin endometrium there are various strategies to prevent thin endometrium in the future cycles or treat thin endometrium in the current cycles these include medical management as well as certain other therapies which are recent advances in assisted reproduction technologies now it is extremely important to ascertain the cause for this thin, thin endometrium especially in the indian subcontinent tuberculosis chlamydia bacterial vaginosis these are various reasons in which a patient presents with recurrently thin endometrium in all the cycles so it is wise to do a hysteroscopy to rule out other causes and then start with the treatment After confirming on hysteroscopy that the cavity is fine we can subject the patient to medical management like tablets of aspirin arginine antioxidants estrogen supplements like estradiol valerate hemihydrate in the form of tablets or skin gels or transdermal gels which can help in improving the vascularity as well as thickness of your endometrium If these strategies also fail you can resort to the recent most advances in ART like your platelet rich plasma therapy which is can be inserted in the uterus around the time before the embryo transfer so that artificially it will help you and assist in improving the thickness vascularity and the doppler flows of your patient If all these strategies fail it is still important to have a lot of patience and wait till the right cycle and the right endometrial thickness of minimum 8 mm is achieved. In IVF cycles it is better to go for frozen thaw embryo transfer cycle rather than fresh embryo transfers because it gives you some interval in hand some time period and you can safely wait for your endometrium to reach that desired thickness before transferring the embryo. So there are a lot many battery of available things which are available to improvise the thin endometrium patients and hence there can be very good success rates and results with the recent most advanced technology in treating the patients of thin endometrium in IUI or IVF thank you